Breland here and welcome to another back to school with Breland video. I'm so excited about this one because this one was highly requested by y'all. So basically I'm going to be showing you some really fun DIY projects for your locker. Some locker essentials and I'm going to show you basically just how I decorated my locker. So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see even more DIYs from me. And if you try any of the DIYs in this video, please snap a picture of it and make sure you use the hashtag back to school with Freeland and tag me in it so I can find it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, my locker is extremely empty and plain and boring and that's why I'm going to show you how to give your locker a much needed makeover. So first we need to put some paint on this old barn or should I say wallpaper on this old barn. All you need for this is some cheap Dollar Tree wrapping paper of your choosing and some sticky tack. And I recommend sticky tack over tape because it does not leave a permanent mark on your locker. So all I did was measure the dimensions of my locker and cut out the sheets according to the measurements. And if you're going to do this for your school locker, I recommend pre-measuring your locker at school and then just cut out the paper at home. And the great thing about this thin, cheap wrapping paper is that all of your magnets won't have a problem magnetizing to the metal underneath. So I also wanted to add that this does not have to look perfect because you're going to be covering most of it with your decorations and your school supplies. So just have fun with it. Now I'm hanging up this glamorous feather boa along with these cute flower magnets I made myself and here's how. So again, I picked up these fake flowers from the Dollar Tree for a dollar each and all you do is remove the flowers from the stems and cut off the plastic thingy on the bottom. Next, just take your magnet button and stick it to the flower. And if you want to add a glitterful touch, you can apply an adhesive rhinestone to the center to finish it off. This must be love. So next I'm putting these stackable storage bins in the bottom of my locker to create more space and these were also a dollar each at the Dollar Tree. Now for my favorite decoration of all, the locker chandelier and it lights up. I got this at Target for only $10. I'm so in love with it. Mirror, mirror in my locker, who's the prettiest one in soccer? I don't know. So now I'm just hanging up my super cute shadow box chalkboard that I made. And you want to know how I made it? Ta-da! Here's how. And we danced all night to the best song ever. So the first thing you'll need is a shadow box. And I got this one in a set of three at the Family Dollar Store for $5. And you just want to remove the back. And now using your chalkboard paint and a squeegee spongy brush, just begin painting the bottom with around two to three coats and let it dry for at least two hours. So while that is drying, it's time to decorate the frame. And I love Sharpie markers so much. And these are the Sharpie paint markers, which I'm using to create multicolored polka dots all over the frame. And the best part is they are mess free. Woohoo! So now my chalkboard is dry and it's time to write my secret message inside, which isn't really a secret now. I just wrote Breeze Locker, and to really spice things up, I added some brightly colored paper clips, push pins, and a pretty pink crayon, but you can add whatever you want. So last, I put the frame back on and applied some magnets to the back, and I'm finished. Now to add the rest of my very cheap locker decor I got at the dollar store, such as my magnetic flowers, my very lovely dress cork board, this glamorous pencil holder adorned with polka dots, and I just filled it with some pencils and pens. Then I'm using this letter holder to set on top of my storage bins to act as, what else? A letter and card holder. I hear your heart beat to the beat of the drums. Now that the bottom is finished, I'm decorating the door by putting up my magnetic class schedule calendar, my to-do list clipboard, another magnetic pencil holder, these pretty pen wheels, and I'm also putting up my magnetic paperclip clothespins, which are super simple to make, so let me show ya. Let's make the most of the night like we're gonna die young. Okay, I'm not really sure if that was awkward or scary. Anyway, going back to my Sharpie paint markers, all I'm doing is coloring in all of my clothespins, and I decided to keep mine solid, but you could probably decorate them a lot more than I did. And last, I just added some magnetic tape to the back to finish them up. If I ever did that, I think I'd have a heart attack. 
Next, I'm adding some more decorative magnets, and if you really want to go all out, you can add magnets to some of your favorite goodies, which make them more convenient to you throughout the day. Now I'm putting up my Honey Bear pencil holder, which I made myself, and if you want to see how, you can watch it now on Brie Dazzled. It just magically appeared. I'll link it below. Then I put up my black dry erase board and filled up my pencil holder. So at the bottom of the door, I'm adding this magnetic bin, this cute locker clock, and these colorful clips. And last, I filled that bin up with my pretty pink Polaroid camera. Oh, and if you want a cute idea for a pencil holder, just use your old Starbucks cup like I did. And last, I'm filling up the top shelf of my locker with my school supplies and a few more small decorations. And I'm finished. For locker essentials, I'll always keep a small makeup kit in my locker, and this consists of BB cream, matte powder for daily blemishes, and my baby lips lip balm, and a few colorful lip glosses. Just in case I need to freshen up, I have my face wash, deodorant, hand sanitizer to ward off germs, and a yummy fragrance such as my pink sugar lotion. For my hair, I always keep a frizz cream and a brush handy, along with some ponytail rings. And since I have braces, I always keep sugar-free gum, dental wax, and a toothpick on hand. Oh yeah, and a padlet, just in case. Okay, Glitter Critters, so that is all for this video. Remember to give it a huge thumbs up and let me know in the comments which DIY was your favorite. So remember, I'm going to be at BeautyCon August 16th. Make sure you come and see me. So I thank you so much for watching and have a glitterful day. Bye!